Hiking Colorado's Desert Canyons offers one solitude and silence as you step into backcountry isolation. Venturing into No Thoroughfare Canyon is sure to propose an exceptional trek deep into one of the special valleys held within the Colorado National Monument. This hike begins just two tenths of a mile from the east entrance into the park. The slight downgrade with an immediate trail fork diverts you towards the Devil's Kitchen rock formation. Minimal altitude loss drops you directly to the bottom of the wide valley floor. The canyon reaches out before you with an outstanding expanse. Just a short 20 minutes from town, and actually from Clifton is where I come from, and a five minute walk, and here I am at the mouth of the canyon already. We are so fortunate to have something so beautiful, so close to home in this beautiful state of Colorado. Wide open area. Canyon behind me goes up a little over eight miles. Uh, there's two waterfalls on the way up there uh, and one fairly good sized pool that is even a short hike to that that small pool is is definitely rewarding. Uh, definitely not a place to be when there's any chance of rainstorms because it is prone to flash floods in the area. The trail once again forks off to the right following the drainage from the deep ravine evident in the distance. After following the path a short walk, you drop into the stream bed of No Thoroughfare Creek. This is a shift again to the right as you pass a post in the creek bed to continue your course along the flash flood highway as it meanders in and out of the pulverized stream bed. Depending on current water flows at different times of the year, the far reaches of the creek may begin to appear. Seeing the presence of live water this far down the canyon will assure you a chance to view the waterfalls with their fluids cascading down. During summer months, the creek may be totally dry with small pocket pools still remaining. Finding this cool relief in spring is a well-welcome reward as you continue to hopscotch up the twisting trail. Pristine and quiet, short from town, this area is definitely a premium place to hike. The trail is a little bit in and out of the, the creek bed. Uh, little side areas of it have uh, spots where it's just a sandy, hard-packed trail. A uh, little bit of hopping around on the rocks here and there, but not too bad. Uncountable times you will need to crisscross side to side as you attempt to find the endless pieces of the trail. It's nice to see the stream flowing in the early spring. I'm sure later on in the summer that isn't the case. Uh, it's cool, clear water. Definitely not drinkable, but good enough to wet a bandana or your gloves or something like that to keep you kind of cool, wrap it around your neck. Especially with the cloud cover I have today, it helps a lot. I'm sure it can get very, very hot down here in the summertime. Hikers need to heed this warning. Carry lots of water. The canyon can swelter you even on these semi-cloudy days. Even the pools may completely dry up. Another thing to note about the, the trail is it's definitely children friendly. Uh, there's a little bit of rock hopping for them, but they would do just fine. Uh, some of the higher drop-offs, once you get past the first big falls, uh, even climbing up to the falls could be a little bit hazardous for them, but definitely up to the first falls, kids would have a ball up here. It's, it's definitely a nice wide open area down near the creek bed that they can roam around and not, not get too disorientated or lost. After about a mile of travel, a magical oasis will appear. Normally referred to as the pool, its deep depth is sure to taunt your imagination. Carved by Mother Nature's hand, this picture-perfect spot is well worth a short, easy destination hike.
The trail continues beyond the pool with a short steep ascent. Your brief uphill battle will be well rewarded as you continue to explore beyond the mystical pool. The now well-packed trail poses no real true barrier. As you stop and gaze down, take the time to notice the back valley view. With one last huff to the top, you will receive an extra bonus with the extended glimpse back down the canyon. The forward gaze will be sure to draw you further to see just what's around one more corner. After shuffling down the shelf, take the time to observe the backdrop that has created the pool. The well-worn granite rock has been sanded through time with smooth polished surfaces. The raw power that follows this channel at times will become difficult to imagine. The water must come crashing through here at times with powers uncomprehendable. Leaving the pool and the small waterfall behind, the trail flattens out once again. Crossing the hurdle that created the pool, you realize you are entering the depths of the canyon. In the back of my mind, I am continually reminded of all the extra walking I do while filming. Unending staging of my cameras to document a trail adds many extra footsteps too numerous to count. My attempts to photograph these trails can become exhausting. The distant reminder I must reserve enough energy to carry myself back to the trailhead constantly haunts my inner thoughts. With the deep canyon reality still on my mind, I continue my footsteps trying not to forget my cameras behind. Most of the time coming up during the weekdays, there's not many or no people up here at all. I virtually have, as far as I know, the whole canyon to myself today. It's a, truly a methodical type spot. The flowing creek entices a newfound rhythm in my steps. First along the stream, then zigzagging between large boulders strewn along the valley floor. The canyon reveals a specialized luster at this point. The high sandstone cliffs unfold towards the Colorado skies with dominance as the hardened lower layers of rock become exposed. Skipping along the flash flood route, numerous perception points come and go as cooling pools dot the stream bed with calm live water. At a carved out corner, the footway cuts across several boulders, striking my curiosity as to what lies on the other side. A short distance beyond the corner, a heavenly scene awaits your arrival. Compressed rock lies sculpted and channeled with years of water flow, highlighted with towering sandstone ridges dominating the skyline. After a brief pause at the minute piece of heaven, the trail skirts along tempered stone edges, leading you towards a walled alcove hovering in the distance. The canyon briefly widens and the sandy path reappears once again. Gazing over your shoulder, you are sure to appreciate the well-defined section you have just passed through. Along this stretch, various choices provoke constant route finding depending on the depth of the water flow. Staying near the creek, your assured brief glimpses of the unique pockets are not overlooked. After several more corners, the left side of the creek is your only choice of passage through a dense thicket. 
Exiting the detour under a distinct cedar tree, the trail makes an immediate 90 degree turn. You are now on the final stretch to the first of the two large waterfalls held within No Thoroughfare Canyon. Distant glimpses along with the faint sound of falling water provokes excitement as you near the falls. The barricade wall of rock appears impassable. Yet the fairy tale setting seems to reach out and stop you in your tracks. The ravished landscape lays prelude to the large deep pool at the base of the 100 foot cliff. Capturing the falling water is truly a well welcome reward. It's difficult to imagine what this place must look like if you were standing here during a summertime thunderstorm. Staging the falls is your destination. This is a semi-easy two-mile hike to reach this point. The cool mist and shade was well appreciated on a sunny spring day. Hiking to this point takes a little less than two hours. Even during the winter months, this can be a well-welcome hike to ward off the cabin fever blues. Just to the right of the falls alcove is a primitive trail to access the canyon above. A word of caution, only experienced hikers should proceed from here. Loose footing and a hazardous drop-off could pose a critical outcome. As you approach the upper wall, the trail becomes more distinct. Now elevated above the canyon floor, you receive a full-length view of the dead end barricade. The reverse canyon view winds back down the ravine. The shelf along the cliff requires some rock climbing. The constant danger from falling rocks above is very real. A wrongful step off the edge would have severe consequences. If you are hiking with small children or possess a fear of heights, it is definitely not advisable to attempt this section of the trail. As the tedious route gives way, a vertical view to the outlet of the pool can be somewhat disturbing. Leaving my wobbly knees behind, I didn't find much difficulty scampering up the last stretch to the top. This is an intimidating spot on your hike back out. The channel that leads to the backside of the falls is spectacular to see. Polished and sanded stone ends with a sheer drop straight off the edge. For a brief moment, I had cell phone service here at the top of the falls. More primitive trail continues from here. A well welcome sandy stretch appears as the next mile unfolds between the lower and the upper waterfalls. Surrounded by the upper cliffs, you are now totally isolated. About a quarter mile past the drop off of the falls, a drainage to the left appears. Take a moment to sidestep the main canyon about 100 yards to view the ruins of an old sheep herder's shelter from long ago. Your imagination is sure to wander with the absolute seclusion held within this hidden spot. I left the side canyon to be explored on my next hike into the area. Getting back to the main canyon, you cross yet another sandbar area. The leisurely stroll comes to an end as the trail enters a tight corner with all the scenery changing once again. Glossy refined rock momentarily blocks your passage as you become a witness to the hardened slab that was once the base of a desert. Worn away by time and erosion, mystical pools lie quietly awaiting the thrashing flash flood rains. 
All along the trail, there is undeniable evidence of the ripping forces that created this canyon. Explosive powers you would never desire to witness have carved the desert floor with this ravine deep into the earth. All the way down from the cliffs, high overhead. The channel begins to tighten as you approach the second waterfall. With a few final views above and behind, you are now nearly three miles up the canyon. All your concentrations become zoned on the narrow alley ahead. The end wall view draws all attention as if it were a magnet. The cascade drops some 200 feet down a series of shelves along the ripped rock face. This is without a doubt one of the most impressive spots held within No Thoroughfare Canyon. A hike to this enchanted point is sure to hold you spellbound while being transfixed on the view before you. To continue up the trail from here, you would need to ascend the tremendous cliffs surrounding the deep ravine. It's best to retreat the way you came and leave this as your final destination point. Experiencing a hike into No Thoroughfare Canyon to any one of these numerous turnaround points is definitely well worth the time and the effort put forth. This is truly, without a doubt, a great place to take a hike.